So Elijah said to his servant, 43, Go out now. Look toward the sea. And he went up and looked and said, There is what? Come here. There is nothing. What was the reply from the servant? Nothing. Can you imagine? Let me ask you a question. Is God faithful? Yes. Is God reliable? Yes. God has said you are going to have a baby. You are still barren. God has said it's going to make the way for you. You are still where you are. God, who promised Elijah rain? Have the rain come? You see, not only that Elijah is praying for the rain to come, what answer did he receive? Nothing. At that time, many of you say, oh, God is not faithful. Oh, God has not fulfilled his promise. Oh, what I had was my mind. It's not from God. Listen, whatever God has said about your life will not come to pass on the silver platter. Whatever God has said about your life will not come to pass by sleeping. Whatever God has said about your life will not come to pass because you are tall or short, because you are handsome or whatever, because you are prompt or skinny body or whatever. Whatever God has said about your life will never come to pass on the silver platter. Elijah rain. God had promised Elijah a miracle. God had promised Elijah a testimony. God had promised Elijah something nobody can not buy. Elijah had gone ahead to tell who? King Ahab. So here, Elijah is becoming a liar. Because he told Ahab there is coming rain. Here, the servant went out, he came back, see Elijah pray, he said, Master, I see nothing. Can you imagine? Let's read further. And Elijah said, go on, again, what? Seven times, can you imagine? Seven times Elijah was praying, come to the Yamaha, come to Masa, Palima Kaba, Puntuma, Lebele Meha, Vama Soma. Go! He went, came back, Master, second time, nothing. Elijah said, Don't worry, I know whom I have believed. I am persuaded what God has said he will do, he will do. And for he prayed, he shifted the gears. Tell somebody, shift the prayer gears. Alamahaya, he shifted the prayer gear. Gaza, Anna, Gaza, Gaza, Anna, Papa, Asan, Anna, Kapa, Apa, Asan, Anna, Kapa, Apa, Asan, Anna, Kapa, Apa, Asan, Anna, Kapa, Apa, Asan, Anna, go! He went back, came the third time, nothing. At that time, many of us would give up and say, Some other time. It's not yet my time. But Elijah will not give up. Elijah will not throw in the towel. Elijah will not take no for an answer. Elijah will not quit. Elijah will not surrender. Elijah will not lift his hands in despair. Elijah will never become a runaway person. He prayed the fourth time, come out for more, come damasa, come out for more, come damasa, come out for more, come damasa, come out for more. God promised my wife and I a baby. Almost four years when we married, we have no children. We kept moving from one daughter to the other. We kept praying, it was not working. And then one daughter told us, You'll be giving the wrong grass all these years. I said, enough. I went to the prayer mountain. I was there for three days and three nights. I prayed and prayed. I prayed and prayed and shifted prayer tears. Three days I was on the mountain. Almost four years of marriage. We are no children. I cried to God. I prayed. I cried. I prayed. I prayed. I prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. I prayed. And when I left the prayer mountain in the Greek gardens in Ghana, God gave my wife and I three children. I pray tonight, God is about to surprise you. God is about to make you smile. God is about to make you dance. God is about to put a new song in your mouth. God is about to change your story. God is about to alter your destiny.
destiny. God is about to impact you. God is about to transform you. God is about to lift you up. God is about to establish you. God is about to make a way. God is about to make a way when there seems to be no way. God is about to help you. God is about to impact your life. Change. The time is coming. 
coming. Your ailment will change. A time is coming. Your pain will be over. A time is coming. Your test will become a testimony. A time is coming. Your disgrace shall be grace. A time is coming. Your nothing shall be something. A time is coming. Your disappointment shall be appointment. A time is coming. God will lift your feet from the clay and lift your feet from the pit your feet from the damn hill and lift your feet ah, from the dust bin and put a smile on your future. I came to announce to you that God hears prayer. God is not deaf to prayer. Keep on praying. Elijah said, man, I'm on my canal. I am praying to pass what God has told me. The boy went to the fourth time. He said, I see nothing. I see nothing was enough to discourage Elijah, but Elijah was a fighter. Elijah was a hardcore soldier. Elijah was like the U.S. Marine. He was like the Israeli paratrooper. He was, ah, brother, my sister, like the Russian special forces. He was, ah, like the British, ah, Royal Marines. Brother, my sister, Elijah will not run away. He can pray. He can pray. He can pray. He can pray. The third time, the boy went out and came back with not good news. He came with bad news. He came with bad report. But it doesn't matter the bad news the boy brought. Elijah knew that God hears prayer. He knew that God is dependable. He knew that God is reliable. He knew that God is honest. He knew that God is not a man. That is your lie. Have God said it, and will He not do it? Have God spoken, and shall He not make it good? Let all men be liars. God shall remain true. And so Elijah prayed the same time. The boy went. He did not come with good news. He came back with bad news the fifth time. That was enough for you and I to quit. But Elijah, he dug in the hill. Elijah, he kept pressing on the prayer accelerator. Tell somebody, press on the prayer accelerator. Juma Puma, Elijah kept hitting the accelerator. He kept hitting the accelerator. The fifth time, the boy said nothing. And then the sixth time, the boy said nothing. He said nothing. The sixth time, go again, seven times. Tell somebody, go again. Go again. I can't hear you. Tell somebody, go again. He didn't say, oh, God has not loved me. He didn't say, oh, God has forgotten about me. Listen, he that watched over Israel, he never sleeps, he never slumber. He liked to say, go again. I came to challenge you. Mount Carmel experience is about going again. Go again to God. Go again to the I am that I am. Go again to the lion of the tribe of Judah. Go again to the Alpha and the Omega. Go again to the beginning and the end. Go again to the Emmanuel. Go again to the Redeemer. Go again to the Chief Shepherd. Go again to the Palm of Gilead. Go again to the one who is the creator of the heavens and the earth. I came to challenge you as a prophet of God. It's time to go again. Go again to the God of signs and wonders. Go again to the God who sits on the circle of the earth. Go again to the God whose appearance is like unto Jasper and sounding stones. Go again to the God who is bigger than cancer, bigger than tuberculosis, bigger than asthma, bigger than palpitation, bigger than disease pills, bigger than high blood pressure. Go again to the God who is bigger than paralysis, bigger than dizziness. Go again to the God who is bigger than barrenness. Go In the eye, who is bigger than any growth, any tumor? Go again to the God, who is bigger than any heart trouble, bigger than any wound trouble, bigger than any eye socket trouble, bigger than any spine.
to you by the mantle of the prophet and it's time to go again go again go again go again go again tonight I don't know about you but I want to go again Elijah said go again I challenge you it's my time to give up I challenge you it's my time to quit I challenge you it's my time to throw in the towel I challenge you it's my time to say oh whatever will be will be say say last me no and it's time to go again it doesn't matter if you don't have a wound that today I take your wound to the court of Elijah if you don't have eyes I take your eye socket to the court of Elijah it doesn't matter the size of your problem it doesn't matter the dimension of your situation it doesn't matter the breadth and the weight of your circumstance. Your mountain may be a big mountain, a bigger mountain, a huge mountain, a massive mountain, a colossal mountain, a humongous mountain. Your mountain may be a large, a small, a medium size, an extra large, or extra, extra large mountain. I want you to know that there is a God who is on top of your situation. There is a God who can help you. There is a God who can lift you up. There is a God who can make a way. There is a God who can change your story. Elijah said, go again. Why? Because you knew that God hears prayer. He said, go again. I came to challenge you by the mantle of the prophet. Go again. Go again. Go again. Tell somebody five times, go again. Go again. Go again. Go again. Seven times. Look at verse 44. And it came to pass at the seventh time that the servant said, Behold, there arise a what? A little. This is a big. A what? A little. A little cloud out of the sea, like a man's hand. Elijah said, Go up. Say unto Ahab, Prepare your chariot and get thee down, that the rain stop thee not. Can you imagine? Had the rain come? No. Just a little sign, like a man's hand, was enough to move Elijah. Listen, if you want to see the supernatural in the spectacular, you will miss God. Many of you are problem is you want to see something big before you start dancing. No. The little sign should tell you. The God who gave you five naira can give you five million naira. Yes. But many of your problem is you want to see the million before you testify. Look at Elijah. He was not moved by a big cloud. Just a little cloud it was enough. I came to announce to you that God who gave you a little can give you much. Yes. The God who gave you small can give you many. Yes. The God who gave you almost nothing, absolutely little, can give you much. Yeah. Elijah said, get ready, that the rain stop being not. Did the rain come? Yes. Did the rain come? Yes. How many times did Elijah pray? Yes. Seven times. Let me ask you a question again. Who promised Elijah rain? God. Who promised Elijah rain? God. Who promised Elijah rain? Strong. God promised the rain. Did the rain come on a silver platter? No. Did Elijah snore for the rain to come? No. That's why I stop complaining. That's why you are a big complainer. Stop it. That's why I prophesied to you. Stop complaining. And start praying. That's why if, if you complain, if you complain, if you complain, you remain. Complain. 
If you are waiting for it to come, it will never happen to you die. You must push it. Push it. Push it. My spiritual father told me that God has shown you that I'll be an international prophet. But I was a village prophet. Nobody heard about me. I was always in the villages. For that prophet to come to pass, it took me fasting. I had to fast. I had to pray. I had to pray and pray and pray and pray. And I told the other, come out to us. I told the other, come out to us. I told the other, come out to us. about your life. You must what? War. You must what, sister? War. Whatever God has said about your life, you must war. Because there are witches in your village who would ensure that you die before your time. But I came to announce to them, whoever wants you dead, you shall attend their funeral. As for anybody in your family who wants you dead, you shall attend their funeral. Obituary, you shall read their obituary. Anybody from your mother's village who wants to hear your funeral announcement program on radio, you shall hear about their funeral announcement arrangement on radio. Anybody from your father's family who wants to hear announcement on television about your death, I announce to them that we shall hear about their funeral announcement on the television set. Of the Lord, and I declare that no weapon from the fashion. 
blessing against you, I shall prosper. And I declare any tongue lifted against you in judgment, be condemned. I command your heart never to stop pumping. May your heart never stop abruptly. May no witch be able to stop your heart. May no demon be able to stop your heart. May no familiar spirit be able to stop your heart. May no ancestral power be able to stop your heart. May no Fudu priest be able to stop your heart. May no Chuchu priest be able to stop your heart. May no Pan reader be able to stop your heart. May no star gazer be able to stop your heart. May no sorcery power be able to stop your heart. May no woman be able to stop your heart. May no man be able to stop your heart. May no boy be able to stop your heart. May no girl be able to stop your heart. May no father be able to stop your heart. May no mother be able to stop your heart. May no situation be able to stop your heart beating. May no condition be able to stop your heart. May no circumstance be able to stop your heart. May no trouble, may no barrier, may no blockade, may no pillar, may no limitation, may no stagnation, may no retrogression, may no lack, may no poverty, may no growth, may no tumor, may no disease, may no sickness, may no arrow, may no spear, may no javelin, may absolutely no ballistic weapon from the region of darkness be able to stop your heart as we pray. May God answer our prayer. Whatever God has said about your life, God said, Elijah, I am bringing you rain. He said, Elijah, I am what? Elijah, I am what? I am bringing you rain. But Elijah, pray for the rain to come to pass. Elijah, pray for the rain to come to pass. I pray over you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. As we pray, may your rain come. As you pray, may your rain come. May the rains of God come upon your life. Come over your future. Come over your destiny. Come over your son. It's about prayer. Bring it to pass your prophecy. I want you to lift your voice. Whatever God has told you, pray it to pass. Pray that whatever God has said about your life shall come to pass. Lift your voice in prayer. I cannot hear you. I said I cannot hear you. Lift your voice in prayer. Whatever God has told you, are you believing God for a baby? Are you believing God for a daughter? What are you believing God for? Lift your voice in prayer. What future do you want? I come out to man. I come out to my Sabbath. I come out to Manda. I tell you, I'm a Puma. Come down as a man. Pray without season. Remember always to pray and not to faint. Whatever we find on the earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever we lose on the earth shall be loose in heaven. Let the God that answer by like fire. Children, pray for your family. I pray for someone. Come back to 
every chair of promotion for you, somebody will take it from you. Elijah, it's my camera experience. He had to pray to pass whatever God has told him. God, I thank you. God, I give you praise. I see people singing in the spirit realm. And as they sing, the glory of God comes down. If you sing, if you are a musician, rise up on your feet. If you are a musician or in the choir, rise up on your feet. If you sing, rise up on your feet. If you are a musician, whether you are in this church or not, you sing, rise up on your feet. Get your hands up to God. Get your two hands. And say, Lord, let your presence come up. Right now, right now. Say, Lord, let your presence come upon me right now. And from tonight, I will no more sing, but I will minister in song. Say, right now, let your spirit come upon me. Right now, let your spirit fall upon me. Right now. Let your spirit descend up with me. Lift your hands up. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Lift your hands and close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, may the angel of God begin to touch you right now. See the amount. It's moving up on you. See the presence of God. May God open your eyes. May God reveal His presence in your mind. Receive the anointing of God. Receive the power of God. Receive the presence of God. Receive it. Just have the anointing of God. Oh, hey, anyone shout? The Lord is touching you right now. Some of you want to give you visions. Some of you will feel some heat in your hands. Some of you will feel some heat in your hands. Some of you will feel some heat in your hands. Some of you will feel some heat in your hands. It's moving all over. Some of you is in your throat. The power of God is going through your throat. It's a fresh anointing. Yeah, receive it. It's all over you. Feel the anointing. Receive it. Come the lady. Kamosha. All over you. Hold that to quickly. The power of God is moving you. I see angels here. Receive it. Yeah. It's all over. Receive it. So the Lord is touching you. Stop it. God is touching me. Kabuli Makasaba. Some of you write your own songs. You write your own songs. Receive the power of God. Receive it. Receive it before you go. Receive it. The power of God. It's touching you right now. Receive it. There's a dwarf. For me there, I cast it. Give me way. Any dwarf from your family, I repeat it from following you. Out! Help it, help it! Help it. Kill it! Find and I kill it! And it's going back. It is going back. Get back! What is that you people? There are angels here. I see angels here. Let them touch you. Yeah. Special people. Kadoma Anama. Later. Kaduma Os. Atakariaba. Later. Later. Whoever wants to kill you, I will tell you who's saying I will not find you. Amen. Touch. Okay. Hold the head. Get your two hands, everybody. See a lot of letters. See a lot of letters in the vision. Any letter you are expecting, receive that letter. Yeah. Receive that letter of appointment. Yeah. Receive that letter of promotion. Yeah. Receive that letter telling the contract has been approved. Receive that visa you are believing God for. Re 
receive answers to that application letter you took around. May the Lord surprise you. And sometimes when I minister, I feel something. God speaks to me in that way. Most of the time, He shows me visions as a prophet. I'm seeing somebody do this in a vision. The person is gasping for air. The person is doing this. This is what I did. Can you see me from the back? As I preach and teach now, I see somebody in the vision do this. The person is gasping for what? Breath. There is something we do. I curse it. I rebuke it. I pray that before I finish preaching, it will leave you completely. Who is that person? Let me see the right hand of the person. Who is that person? Let me see the right hand of the person's hand. All right. I stretch my hands over you. I bind and I curse it in the blood of Jesus and the power of the coming experience. Go through your lungs and repair every damage to your breathing system. May the Lord work a miracle. And we say amen. 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 Amen.